Hello. In this video, we'll discuss the matching principle and how the matching principle requires accountants to book adjustments to ensure that accounting transactions are recorded based on the accrual method of accounting. One of the fundamental concepts of accounting is the accrual basis of accounting and the matching of expenses with the revenue they generate. The alternative to the accrual basis of accounting is the cash basis of accounting, which recognizes transactions based on when the cash is received or paid and consequently, consequently offers a lot of opportunity to shift the receipt of money or the payment of cash into another accounting period. When that is not in the best interest of any shareholder and could significantly skew the financial results of a business positively or negatively. That is why businesses under GAAP must follow the accrual basis of accounting and the matching principle. So under this principle, revenue is recognized when earned, not when the cash is received. And of course, sometimes both events could happen at the same time. For, for instance, uh, on a cash sale, both the cash is collected and the revenue is earned at the same time. However, if cash is not collected immediately in the case of an uh, unaccount sale, revenue is recognized when the sale is complete. There, there are quite a few rules, some very complex surrounding revenue recognition. But in general, the sale is complete when title to the goods passes to the customer or when the service is provided. Revenue recognition is a very complicated topic in many industries, for instance, subscription revenue in the software industry. So what happens when the cash is received and the revenue has not yet been earned? Then the cash is a company liability until such time that the revenue has been earned. Under the matching principle, expenses are recognized when incurred or used, not when the cash is paid. Sometimes both events happen at the same time, but when they don't, each expense is assigned to the accounting period in which it helped to earn revenue for the business, even if the cash is not paid at that time. An accountant spent a lot of time on these two topics. In the area of revenue recognition, for instance, companies constantly examine what portion of revenue can be recognized. The Financial Accounting Standards Board, FASB, introduced a new revenue recognition standard known as Revenue from Contracts with Customers for Fiscal Years Beginning After December 15, 2021. This standard, also known as ASC 606 in the United States, and its international counterpart, IFRS 15, provide a comprehensive framework for revenue recognition, including multi-element arrangements, and revenue recognition in the cloud. So under this new standard, companies under contract to provide goods or services to a customer are required to follow a five-step process to recognize revenue. The first step is to, to, uh, to determine whether you have a contract. Next, you need to identify the performance obligations, which means figuring out what exactly the business has to deliver to the customer. Then you would determine the transaction price. And after that, you're ready to allocate the transaction price. And finally, you would be able to recognize revenue as the performance obligations are satisfied. Because these five steps might seem straightforward, but the, the reality is that revenue recognition is very complex. Many companies, especially those in computer software, subscriptions, and hardware, have an entire separate team that just manages revenue recognitions and arrangements. Accountants also spend a lot of time on expensive rules, the matching of the expenses to the revenues they generate. During month close, the accounting team must ensure that all invoices have been received or can be accrued based on an estimate. Prepaid expenses also have to be recognized in the correct period they belong to. One of the difficult areas of expense accruals is when the exact amount of accounts payables is not known. 
For instance, um, there may be a pending lawsuit that has a good chance of resulting in the company having to pay not only legal fees for lawyers, but also perhaps a settlement to the plaintiffs. Accountants evaluate in collaboration with the legal team whether there is enough certainty of an unfavorable outcome and estimate the outcome. Sometimes there's a range of possibilities uh, when, for instance, it's estimated that the settlement could be between $10,000 and $50,000. In that case, we would accrue for the lowest end of the range, which is $10,000. In some industries like insurance, actuaries and accountants spend a lot of time estimating expenses. For, for instance, health insurance companies don't really know the exact amounts that doctors and hospitals will submit for a specific month in insurance claims to the insurance company. Sometimes the amounts are not known until many months into the future. So the accountants must record an estimate, but, but how exactly do you estimate that? Typically, it's a mathematical model prepared by actuaries in the insurance industries. In other industries, these models may be prepared by the finance or accounting team. Regardless of who prepares the information, it has to be thoroughly vetted. I've seen a few examples where the Excel model had an error that wasn't discovered until later. I hope this video provides, uh, provided you a good overview over the matching principle of matching revenue and expenses and the accrual method of accounting, meaning the recognition of revenues when earned and the recognition of expenses when incurred.